welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen Harris. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am talking about makeup products that are launching soon and whether I am planning on purchasing them or passing on them. Now, I am just recovering from the Sephora sale. My gosh, I, ah, yeah, it's so bad. Like, if you guys can see this room, it's torn up right now because I have like a keep pile, I have a return pile. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot. So <laughs> anyway, it, nobody's slowing down. There's makeup launches coming out of my wazoo. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on new makeup launches, just keep watching. So the first thing I wanna talk about is Jeffree Star's holiday collection. It actually went on sale today when I'm filming this video. He had two Skin Frost palettes as well as eight liquid lipsticks and four lip ammunitions. Now I have a sizable Jeffree Star liquid lipstick collection. You can actually see it, it's that bottom drawer. Um, and I have two of his, what are they called? Skin Frosts. And I don't actually use his Skin Frosts because they're a little heavy and a little bit creamy and thick and they're very, very blinding. So I don't use them often. And so even though the frost, the Skin Frost palettes are very, very tempting, I know I won't use them, so I won't be purchasing those. I do like some of the colors in his liquid lipsticks. I'm not gonna lie, I did like a double take. When I saw some of those shades like uh, Berries on Ice, Scent of Baby, Human Nature, even First Class looks so cool. It's kind of like the color of my shirt, I feel like, you know? And so, yeah, I want to get it, but I'm like, you know, girl, you just bought all those Huda liquid lipsticks and I already have so many Jeffree Star shades that I really don't want to pay a full price for them. I mean, he might have a sale, you know, closer to the end of the year. So I'm just going to wait because I really don't need it. And so, yeah, I'm not going to buy it. Next thing I see on Trend Mood's page are the new Dose of Colors eyeshadow palettes that are coming out. There is going to be two of them. There is Sassy Sienna and what is the other one called? It's Sassy Sienna and Blushing Berries. These colors are so on trend for right now. Um, you know, everyone's loving like those warm tones and the berries and I mean basically everything that's on my eye right now is what is really trending for makeup. And these are so tempting you guys, but I'm gonna link the video up in the cards. I tested out the brown, Bake Browns and the Marvelous Mauve palette from Dose of Colors and I really didn't like the formula. It was very dusty. There's a lot of kick up. It was a very powdery formula and I'm really into like more creamy blendable mattes. So I really wasn't a fan of these and they're not really that cheap. They're, how much are these palettes? I wanna say they're definitely in like the $30 range and right now I'm just not on the market for something like this. I love the packaging, it's beautiful. They're nice and compact. But yeah, I'm going to pass on these and I think you should too because if you like the same kinds of makeup as I do, I don't think you're going to like this palette. The other thing that kind of caught my eye that's coming out is the new Mini Metal Mattes palette by Kat Von D. Um, this looks exactly like the big one that she came out with two years ago for Christmas. Um, but it's a mini palette. It has the same layout and everything and it's those warm shades So I'm so so tempted because There's her like foil shadows as well as some of her mattes. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna get this It is um, an almost $40 palette. I believe I saw that it was yeah, it's a $39 palette, which is really expensive Holy shit. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna buy it, but it's definitely getting a double take from me I'm so curious to see what the formula is going to be like in that palette. Now, I feel like makeup brands are really duplicating themselves. There's so many <laughs> warm palettes coming out right now. It's a little bit ridiculous. I just saw this one that's coming out for NARS Holiday. They're doing one called the, is it called the Wanted Eyeshadow Palette, it looks like. Again, it's got those warm tones, it's got those brown shades, the mattes, and some beautiful shimmers. And honestly, the thing that really gets me with this palette is the packaging. I'm like... So it's definitely making me do a double take. It's definitely not something I need in my collection right now, but it's 
Those colors are just so beautiful. I've never actually bought a NARS eyeshadow palette except for the Dual Intensities palette, which I reviewed on my channel years and years ago. And I did not like that palette. I did take it back. But I would really be curious to try the NARS eyeshadow formula in palette form. So I might pick it up, but... Honestly, I'm so broke from the Sephora sale, I might end up passing on that palette. Now, this is another palette. So many freaking eyeshadow palettes. This one definitely made me do a double take as well. This is the Urban Decay Distortion Palette. It's $48, and this is launching December 4th online at Sephora. It looks like it's going to be a Sephora exclusive. I've seen a few people receive this palette in PR, but when I first saw the picture, I was like, oh my god. This palette looks so stupid, but I actually then went back and did some research and realized the top row is actually like transformer shades. Basically, you put on any shade from the bottom rows on your lid, and then you use one of the transformer shades on top of that, and it gives it this like really beautiful duochrome effect. I love the idea. The packaging on this palette looks absolutely stunning, but these palettes kind of remind me of like a knockoff Pat McGrath Labs palette almost. So I'm not 100% sure if I will buy it because I really don't need any more duochromes in my life, but it's tempting. It's definitely making me do that double take. Now, it looks like Maybelline is coming out with some master holographic highlighters in, in two new shades, and I actually have the original one, and it is so highlighter-y. Honestly, when I put that on, it's like a blinding highlight. So if you're, you know, on a budget and you want to find something affordable, I would definitely recommend the master um, holographic highlighters if they're the same formula as their original gold highlighter, which was Bombskis. Also, there's a bunch of new products coming out on the drugstore, and I haven't really been keeping up because I feel like drugstore really adds up, and sometimes the quality is just not worth the price you're paying for them. So I'm really not interested in anything drugstore right now, just, just so you guys know, but I'm not trying to shade anyone that shops at the drugstore. It's just not really my... Allie. The other thing that's new that just came out is the It's My Ray Ray Collab Palette with BH Cosmetics. This one I actually did end up picking up because I have been loving eye and face palettes. Like palettes that have a little bit of everything because I just think they're so versatile in that sense. And I haven't really bought anything from BH Cosmetics in a long time. I did review the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette and did end up returning that because I bought that on Ulta's website. But this It's My Ray Ray collection just reminded me so much of the ColourPop and Karuchi collab that I wanted to get it just to do like comparisons and honestly I'm curious to see like where BH Cosmetics is at as far as their quality. I would love to recommend to you guys more affordable products and that palette was only $22.50 and you get a bunch of eyeshadows as well as some face products so I'm really excited plus she is a person of color so I thought it was more likely that the contour shades would work with my skin tone as well. So I'm definitely excited to get my hands on that palette. And since I was buying something from BH Cosmetics, I was actually able to qualify for free shipping if I spent $45 on their website. So I did end up adding the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette to my basket. I figured, you know, they were both under like $25. So I really couldn't complain too much and that gives me two palettes to test out and talk to you guys about so I'm really really excited for those and I really wanted to support um, It's My Ray Ray. I haven't actually watched her channel. I just saw the announcement video when the palette launched and she seemed really cool so it's like a new YouTuber to me. I don't really know much about her but I did think her palette was really cool and I'm so happy to get my hands on that. Two Faces on a Roll, they're like coming out with palettes Again, I can't really keep up, but they just announced the Chocolate Gold Collection. There is a Chocolate Gold Bar Palette, which is all metallics. It looks like with like one peachy matte shade, and it looks like that's going to be available for pre-order. I don't know how much that palette is, but it looks very, very golden. Looks like they're doing a melted gold, liquid gold lip gloss, um, also some pigments and looks like they're doing some highlighters. 
as well as a chocolate gold highlighter. So lots and lots of stuff in this collection. I'm personally going to pass on all of it. I almost bought the Peachy Matte Palette. My God, these people were like raving about it on YouTube. It's like being raved about and I'm like, I kind of want it just so I could try it out. But I'm like, Karen, you have the Viseart Warm Matte Palette. You are not about to buy more all matte palettes. So I talked myself out of that, which I was really happy about. But man, oh man, Too Faced is at it with more recycled collections. Um, Kylie Jenner is coming out with her call holiday collection. She's gonna have two eyeshadow palettes, the Nice and the Naughty palette. Honestly, guys, these palettes do look really, really cool. I must say the color selection does look really awesome, but I don't believe she's made any changes to her eyeshadow formula, and her eyeshadow formula is so basic that I really don't care to have more stuff from her, so I will be passing on her entire holiday collection as well. Jouer also came out with some fun stuff for the holidays. They had all these little mini sets of their liquid lipsticks, their lip toppers, their highlighters, really, really cool stuff. There was a time I was really into Jouer and I feel like I would have definitely jumped on all of this, but uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but above my Jeffree Star collection, I think I have a lot of my Jouer lip liquid lipsticks. And I honestly haven't worn those in a long time. So even though these collections look really appealing, the packaging was beautiful, you're getting a lot of shades for a very affordable price. I was like, you know what? I don't need it. So I'm staying away from it. But I do think Joy is a good brand. So if you guys are interested in any of those products and trying out multiple little things, I think a holiday set is always a great way to try out multiple products. Now, ColourPop is, of course, coming out with a holiday collection. They came out with eyeshadows, highlighters, lipsticks, um, the Super Shock shadows. They've got a bunch of stuff. The only thing I wanted was the eyeshadow palette, and it is coming to me, so I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I'm just, like, so all about ColourPop right now. I love their eyeshadow palettes. It's getting a little bit out of control. What do I... I think I have six now, and then the two Sephora ones which honestly those ones I didn't like so I featured them in a Sephora Returns video. I'll link that up in the cards if you guys want to check that video out but I didn't really like that collection but anything that Colourpop does that they sell on their website I'm like I'm here for it you know. So it looks like Makeup Geek came out with a flawless ever after holiday collection including palettes and looks like they did like face palettes and things like that. I'm kind of over Makeup Geek. I know that sounds really mean, but I just, you know, they haven't really come out with anything new in a hot minute and people have really stopped talking about them. So it's not really a brand that's like on top of my mind right now. I think the brands that are really getting my attention are ColourPop, Pat McGrath, Huda and Color Drain potentially. Those are like my favorites. And then Juvia's Place probably also are like always on my radar. But Makeup Geek's one of those where it's like, mmm, mmm, you know? Um, speaking of Pat McGrath, she just launched her liquid lipsticks. And she did two different kits, or on her website, you could buy the whole kit. It was called the Everything Kit. And that was $125. And, uh, I bought it. <laughs> it's so bad. I don't know what it is. So I never was like interested in Pat McGrath, but after I got her eyeshadow palettes and like the quality, I swear there's nothing else like it on the market. In my opinion, now you can have your own opinion, but in my opinion, I love those eyeshadows. I love her matte lipstick that I have. So I was like, liquid lipsticks? Yeah, I'm gonna need those. So I just bought them all because I mean, honestly, like, why not? <laughs> it's so bad. So you guys best believe there's going to be a review on my channel as soon as I get my hands on those. Urban Decay is doing a collaboration with Kristen Leanne, I believe, and that's coming in spring 2018. Now, by God, spring 2018 seems far away, but they already look, it already looks like they have the palette kind of figure it out. I don't know what it is with Urban Decay and doing all these like funky layouts, but I'm not really feeling this palette really. 
at all much but I think people that love colorful eyeshadows are going to really enjoy that so I'll be excited to see how that palette does once it launches. Kim Kardashian is coming out with three cents for her KKW fragrance and uh, I don't want any of it. <laughs> I am trying really hard not to give the Kardashians my money so that is that. Ooh, let's talk about this Kale Polish X ColourPop collection that she did. So basically Kathleen Lights has a bunch of lipsticks, lip glosses that she created for ColourPop when she collabed with them and now Kathleen Lights has her own nail polish line so she did corresponding nail polishes with the lippies and honestly Kathleen Lights used to be one of my favorite YouTubers. I used to watch her back in the day when she was in Mississippi when she maybe had like 400,000 subscribers and she's grown so much and it's so so amazing but the whole Jaclyn Hill Kathleen Lights fiasco just rubbed me the wrong way because Kathleen Lights comes off as one of the most sweet most innocent YouTubers on the internet <laughs> one of the most nicest influencers on the internet and I was honestly very shocked to hear those words come out of her mouth and I know people make mistakes and things like that but honestly guys like I swear like a truck driver but saying the n-word is not normal for me there's like two words that I won't swear like I won't say it's the n-word and the c-word like it just irks me you know how like some people hate the word moist like they can't hear the word moist the C word and the N word just make my like stomach turn. So to me, it's like, yeah, you can apologize all you want, but for sure I know that that's just how you talk. Like that's your normal vocabulary. So to me, I feel like when she comes on YouTube, it's an act. Like that's not who she really is. She's turning it on. She's being very sweet and oh my God, I don't want to like say anything bad about any brands and I'm so positive and I'm Kathleen Lights and it just all seemed fake and I get it. YouTube is a job for some people. That's how they make their living. They're going to have to be however they need to be to get all their subscribers, keep all their brands happy, things like that. And me being the small YouTuber that doesn't give a fuck, I can do whatever I want. I pay for all my makeup. If YouTube wants to demonetize my video, then I don't really care because I have a real... I have a full-time job, you know, this is my side project, so my only concern is being true to myself, and I just felt like that word just came out so easily from her mouth, and her husband just saying, like, don't post that, like, you know that was not the real Kathleen Lights that we see on YouTube, so I'm just done supporting Kathleen Lights, to be honest. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on that, but I'm just so done with shady YouTubers, shady brands. I just can't anymore because honestly, there are so many options out there, guys. You don't need to buy from shady brands. That's all I have to say. And do your research because you're giving these people your money and I 100% am a believer of vote with your dollar, vote with your views. If you don't like a YouTuber, don't watch their YouTube videos. Just unsubscribe from their channel and be done. And if you don't like a brand, don't spend your money on them because the more we spend on them, the more they're going to thrive. You know what I mean? So I'm just done with shady brands. I just can't be bothered. <laughs> the other thing I want to talk about is the Melt Cosmetics new stack that they're coming out with. It's called She's in Paris. And it's a beautiful burgundy-themed stack. And I honestly was so interested in this and then they did a secret sale so all their stacks were on sale and the rust stack was like calling my name but I actually bought a melt stack last year or the year before when it was on sale over Black Friday and I never use it. I never use it. I was so hyped about it because Desi and Katie would talk about them all the time but I was like I don't use it. It was the biggest waste of money and they're so expensive. They're like 40 bucks for these stacks and you get like four or five eyeshadows so I will not be picking that up. Let's talk about Patrick Star and MAC Cosmetics. Now he is coming out with a collaboration with MAC Cosmetics which is really really cool. I mean that's a really big deal because MAC is most people's first makeup brand but honestly you guys I used to be so obsessed with MAC's limited edition collections and I'm not gonna lie I did buy some things from the holiday collection mostly because the packaging was really gorgeous but 
I don't like Patrick Star enough to buy this collection and I'm so sick of them doing the same thing over and over again. Like this lipstick, like these reds, these nudes, we've seen them 8,000 times and I don't know, I just feel like they're going to rely on his fans to buy the product and that's fine, but that won't be me because I really just don't need another MAC lipstick. Like, if you think I need another MAC lipstick, I... I don't. <laughs> I really don't. So I can't even think of anything sassy to say right now. I'm just like, God, this collection is so boring. And Patrick Star is actually like kind of fun and crazy. So I was expecting something different from him. You know what I mean? Ooh, ooh, let's talk about the Kat Von D Metal Crush Highlighter Palette. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Kat Von D, but girl, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, Urban Decay is coming out with the All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. I love a good concealer just as much as the next person, but the reason I'm not considering buying this is because their foundation version of this product would oxidize. So, like, when I bought the color that I was supposed to be, I would literally turn into Oompa Loompa. Like, it was bad. Like, it would oxidize so badly. So, I took that thing back in a hot second. And if the concealer does that, I'm not interested. So I don't even want to find out. I'm just going to pass on the whole situation because I just cannot be bothered. I just, I just cannot be bothered. Simple as that. Okay, so everyone's making a big deal about the Sigma palette that came out. It is a like a highlighter palette. It looked really cool, but I bought one thing from Sigma a long, long time ago. It was an eyeshadow palette. And I didn't think the quality was any good. I know Sigma is kind of like well known for their brushes, but I'm just, it's just one of those brands that I'm just not interested in. I should make a video about that. Just like brands that don't excite me. Sigma is definitely on that list. It's just like, mm, whatever. That and like pure cosmetics. Like they're constantly coming out with new things, but I'm like, mm, no girl. <laughs> Okay, so did you guys see the splash that Trend Mood made about Fenty Beauty coming out with like one liquid lipstick? It's called Stunna, but I love the packaging. It looks really cool, but I really just don't need any more red lipstick. So I'm going to be passing on that. Let me know if you guys will be picking that up. Also, uh, Ofra came out with a giant holiday glow palette. Um, there are one, there's one highlighter on here, one bronzer, four blushes, and eight eyeshadows. So, looks like a fun palette. Definitely looks like what's on trend. But I believe this palette, how much is it? That's what I am curious to find out. It's a $49 palette, which isn't too bad. Usually, Ofra is like, Highlighters and like bigger palettes are pretty spendy, so I usually try to avoid them like the plague. Uh, but that's $49 is pretty reasonable, but I won't be getting any of that right now. Just not interested in that at this time. Okay, I did really want to talk about this. So the Graveyard Gir Girl X Bellamy collection, um, where she came out with like the blow dryer, the straightener, the curlers, la di da da da. Very cool, but honestly, I picked up the Nicole Guerrero collection that she did with Bellamy. And I honestly, those hair tools are okay. Like, you're not getting ripped off, but... I wouldn't 100% say like go out and get it right now. I don't think they're that great of a hair tool. And so I will be passing on the Graveyard Girl collection. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to touch on in this video. Let me know down in the comments what you are planning on buying or not buying. I'm so curious to hear you guys' thoughts. Plus, I need your help being talked out of some of this makeup that's coming out because your girl is still trying to recover from the VIB sale. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this video. I do hope you will consider subscribing so we can be internet friends. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.